Okay, have you finished everyone? All right. You can see one example I gave you already um, in number one. So many, um, yes, yeah, some, some, some adjective um, always followed by um, preposition. Okay, and some adjective can can be uh, can follow by what more than one preposition, uh, but the meaning are different. Okay. So let's have a look at number one. Uh, it says, are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of the dark? Okay. Um, what about number two? Can anyone give the answer number two? Do you think chocolate is good? Yes, thank you. It's good for you. Yeah. Do you think chocolate is good for you? Okay. What about number three? Is your town full tourists in the summer? Yeah, is your town full of tourists in the summer? Yeah, so here we use of. And number four. What is your country famous? Very good. What is your country famous for? Okay. Uh, what about number five? At school, what subjects were you bad? Mm, do you remember the preposition you use after good and bad? Yes, bad at. At school, what subjects were you bad at? Uh, what about six? Number six. Are you good at dancing? Okay. Seven. Yeah, get angry with. Okay. Get angry with your family. And what was it here? Very good. What about? Okay. Do you often get angry with your family? What about? What about number eight? Are people in your country very different the English? Okay, so different from. Are people in your country very different from the English? Mm -hmm. Sentence number nine. What is it? So after the adjective nice, nice too, okay? Are people in your country nice to tourists? Um, it's like you say, nice to meet you. So, nice to, okay? The last question. Are you interested in politics? Okay. Are you interested in politics? So, remember that after interested, you always use preposition in, okay? Um, are you interested in politics? Yes, I am interested in politics. Or no, I'm not interested in politics. Okay. All right. Question number one to ten. Um, could you spend some time asking this question to your partner? 
to your classmates. Um, I'm going to put you in a breakout room and everyone can discuss, um, ask and answer this question. Uh, not work in pair in case uh, some of you have a uh, problem with your internet, um, cannot talk, so I'll put you in group of um, three people or four, okay? So please try to ask and answer using your own opinion, your idea. Um, you may make up the story sometimes, even though it's not true. So that's that's the nature of um, practice speaking English. Okay, so you should spend about um, six minutes for this task. Okay, so now I'll put you in the breakout room. Um, do not forget to screenshot the questions.